Hello, this is the Heine Delta 20T dermatoscope. Today I'm just going to be showing you the equipment. If you want to learn how to use it in more detail and to interpret what you see, please do come along to one of our Dermoscopy for Absolute Beginners courses. Now this Heine Delta 20T fits onto a standard Heine handle. And if you twist this bit here, you can take the top off so you can exchange it for your otoscope or ophthalmoscope. Just pop it back on again, there we go. The handle turns on in the same way as all the other um, handles will turn on. So you press in the button and twist it in order to turn it on. And then when it comes on, this button here will switch between polarized and non-polarized modes. There is no indicator light to tell you which is which. And so you have to either know which is which or um, be able to check. And we can teach you how to check that when you come to one of our Demoscopy for Absolute Beginners courses. In order to focus it, you twist this bit here. And when you have it ready, when you want to attach a camera in order to take a picture, it has a marker here for where to put it for a camera. So that will now be lined up perfectly for your camera to focus and take a picture through the dermatoscope, particularly for a flat lesion. The end plate will come off if you want it to. The old style Delta 20 had a separate end plate, one for polarized and non, one for non-polarized. The Delta 20 T, T stands for toggle, and that's what this button is for that lets you switch between the modes. So the end plate will come off and you can replace it for a separate end plate that has a small contact, um, a small contact end plate, which is available to buy separately. The Heine Delta 20T does not have disposable end plates to go with it. Um, and it has a relatively small field of view. Um, but having said that, it's a, it's a good enough size for most things that you're going to want to use it for. In order to attach a camera to it, there's a few things to say. Firstly, this is not magnetic, so you can't attach your standard magnetic adapter to it. You need a piece of equipment like this that attaches onto the magnetic adapter and then sits on top of it like that. So that's how you would attach your camera to the Heine Delta 20T. And it's not, um, it's not held in place particularly firmly. And so you do need to just be, make sure that you are supporting your phone and your dermatoscope, which can still be done with one hand perfectly easily like that. There are various different charger types for these handles. So you can get a handle that goes in a cradle. You can get a handle with a unique adapter. Um, but nowadays, most of them are going to come with this type of adapter, which is just a standard mini USB, same one as you would use to charge your mobile phone. So you're not going to be caught out without an adapter if you find yourself with an uncharged scope. If you do find yourself with an uncharged scope, though, these ones do take a little while to charge up from zero and they are slower to charge from zero than most of the others. So you are likely to need more than your 10 minute patient appointment to charge it up from nothing if you haven't kept it charged beforehand. Size wise, it's a very similar size and weight to your standard otoscope and ophthalmoscope. Um, I think we all know roughly what that is, so you could keep it in a pocket if you wanted to. It does come with this case, which it will fit into quite nicely. But again, the case is quite large um, and is less easy for you to, uh, to carry around in your pocket. This big advantage of the Heine Delta 20T is that it's a very robust piece of equipment and these are likely to last for years. And it's very common that people uh, retiring GPs will leave these in their desk, for example, either a Delta 20T or one of the previous Delta 20s that has the two separate end plates, one for polarized and one for non-polarized. Um, and if you find one of these or have access to one of these, definitely worth keeping it 
um, because it's a really decent scope and it's one of the ones that's used in hospitals quite a lot of the time. But having said that, some of the more modern scopes may be easier when it comes to photography um, as well. So as I say, I'm just showing the equipment today to learn how to use it and to interpret what you see. Please do come along to one of our Demoscopy for Absolute Beginners courses. We also do intermediate demoscopy and advanced demoscopy and lots of general dermatology courses, all of which can be accessed through the website, which is pcds.org.uk. So that was the Heine Delta 20T.